Yo, yo, it's your boy Abu Sambra back with another video and I'm finally back in Cairo. Well, the truth is I've been back for a while, I've been back for a month, but I've just been mad busy with a lot of things. Before we get into the video, I just want to make a couple of announcements or more like updates. First and foremost, I want to thank everyone that's been liking, commenting, watching, subscribing, sharing, giving me feedback, all that good stuff. I so much appreciated. I think this is like the fifth video I've put out and I already have 400 subscribers. You know, for me, that's a lot. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you to everyone um, that's been consistently supporting and it's very much appreciated. I'm also working on, you know, trying to take the camera outside and, you know, do some things like outside my house, but I just gotta get a couple of things lined up. Be on the lookout for that. As you can tell from the title of the video, I'm gonna be touching on a specific subject. And in this subject, we're going to be exploring the different areas within the realm of this particular subject. Stereotypes. So obviously, growing up in London, as a black man, as a Muslim, I've been stereotyped already. Like, I've been stereotyped enough. And it's not fun. It's not nice. Now, when I moved to Cairo, you know, I thought to myself, yeah, I'm not really going to be stereotyped. For starters, because I've been told I look Egyptian. I look like an Egyptian from Aswan. I thought to myself, if I look like the people, then I'm not really going to be stereotyped. I couldn't have been more wrong. I have been stereotyped. I just, like, I can't escape being stereotyped. If I go to London, I'm stereotyped. If I go to Cairo, I'm stereotyped. And you know what? Most likely, if I go anywhere else, I'm going to be stereotyped. <sighs> Story of my life. You know what? Let's just get into it. Like, let's, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop moaning and whining like a little girl. I have a lot of friends in Egypt, thankfully. They're all very, very nice people and, you know, just, you know, nice people to chill with and nice people to talk to. When my friends first found out that, you know, I was actually from the UK, they started hitting me with all these weird questions. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, of all people, why are they asking me? And these are the questions I'm always asked. Abu Samra. Tell me the truth. You've had a drink, right? Like, you know, you've tried that before. No, I haven't. Abu Sambra, you know, I know you've tried a bit of a... You know, a little bit of a... Eh? Eh? Yalla! Yalla! Nope. Abu Sambra! Eh? The clubs, eh? How's all of that, eh? You know, do you get your groove on a bit? Yeah, get your groove on. Now, if you keep doing that, I'm going to smack the daylight out of you. People seem to have this idea that because drinks and, you know, nightclubs and, and, and all these things, because they're just out there in the open, they automatically assume that, you know, you've done those things. Being a Muslim, you know, you don't really expect these kind of questions because if you're a Muslim, then, you know, people know you as, you know, like that guy who doesn't drink, smoke, you know, and hang out at bars and, you know, all of these things. I'm not saying there aren't Muslims who, are, who aren't who are doing those things. I mean, yeah, like, you know, you've got Muslims who do that, but it's kind of like well-known, you know, Muslims do not do those kind of things because it goes against their principles. They weren't really convinced when I told them that, like, you know, I've never drank, I've never smoked, I've never gone to a club or, like, never done any of those things, you know what I mean? And then once they got to know me a little bit more and saw that, like, you know, I, like, I don't do certain things, they were a little bit shocked. They were, like, under the impression that although I, you know, although I consider myself a Muslim, they sort of had this idea that I don't know much about the religion either. You know what, Egyptians, you'd be pretty surprised. I mean, there are a lot of brothers and sisters out there in the UK who actually know a lot about the religion. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say a lot of them know more than Egyptians themselves, despite what they might think. So yeah, if you are an Egyptian and you meet someone from Britain, don't assume they do those things all the time. Even the non-Muslim expats, you know, they, they don't spend every single weekend, you know, partying, smoking and drinking. At the same time, I know some non-Muslim Brits who don't go to the club because they see it as a waste of time. Essentially, by you thinking that all they do is party, clubbing and all those things, it just shows ignorance. No, like, British people like to do other things. They like to go to the park and chill, possibly have a picnic. They like to meet up and watch football matches together. They like to go to the arcade. They do have lives, they like to do other things. By the way, I'm not trying to throw shade, like, if you do those things, then 
Like I'm, I'm not saying anything in it. That's you in it. But me personally, like I, I don't do that. I'm just making a point. Don't stereotype a group of people just because they come from a certain place. Just because all those things are out in the open, it's like they have to do it. Oh no, we don't have to do it. You know, the same way. You know, just because cars are available doesn't mean we have to drive. No, we can take the bus, we can take the train, we can take taxis. Whatever the case may be, and you know, I'm not trying to say I'm a role model Muslim. I don't even consider myself anywhere near a role model. Like, you know, I've got a lot of stuff I need to work on. You know what I mean? Just don't stereotype, basically. As an Egyptian, you wouldn't like being stereotyped. There are some people out there who think Cairo or Egypt in general is just a desert with pyramids and camels, and that's it. You wouldn't like that with you. Another stereotype is us British people were cold. Uh, when I said cold, I meant like, you know, we don't show our feelings or we're just, you know, we don't talk to people and stuff. Sorry for not making that clear in the video. Um, let's get back to it because I feel like I've spoken enough. So, yeah, whatever. Bye. I mean, don't get me wrong, Londoners, us Londoners, yeah, we mind our own business. Egyptians are known to like start conversations with anyone at any time. Which I find to be pretty cool, but weird at the same time. If we're on a tube together, then, you know, I'm not going to speak to that person. The only time I might speak to them is if the tube is like really packed and I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, I'm trying to get off the bus or the train, whatever, tube, yeah, like, can I get off? Kind of in my way. And that's it. That doesn't mean that if we see someone in need, that we're not going to help them. I mean, you know, whenever these terrorist attacks happened, in London, you know, that's when you really saw everybody come together and look after each other, you know? Move away from those extremes, you know, if you need help with directions or you just need general information, that doesn't mean that, you know, we don't stop and help people. It just means, you know, we, we're just not gonna start conversations. I think we're gonna wrap it up. Have you ever been stereotyped? If so, you know, what was it? So yeah, I just wanna say a big thank you to everyone. Uh, that's been watching this and if you've made it this far to the end I know sometimes it's difficult to like you know keep watching the video right to the end so if you made it this far thank you drop all your comments down below let me know what you thought of the video let me know what you think of I'm just waffling now and make sure you leave a like share the video with your friends this has been your boy Abu Samra and I am out peace <laughs>